Hallo, wenn wir miteinander Deutsch sprechen wollen, dann zeige auf diese Fahne. Ahoj, budeme spolu mluvit česky? The Great Flood The wickedness of man spread over the earth. The earth was corrupt in the sight of God and filled with violence. When the Lord saw that man's heart and mind held only evil, he said, I will blot out man from the face of the land, from man to animals to creeping things and to birds of the sky, for I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. God said to Noah, The end of all flesh is before me, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. Make for yourself an ark, and you shall enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife, and your sons' wives with you. One snail is already entering Noah's Ark. Your task is to guide his mate through the labyrinth. And of every living creature upon the earth, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. And all the fountains of the great deep burst open, and the floodgates of the sky opened, and the rain fell upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. The waters rose higher and higher upon the earth, until all the high mountains everywhere under the heavens were covered. The water covered the earth for 150 days. Then God caused a wind to pass over the earth, and the rain from the sky stopped. After having been in the darkness of the ark for weeks, the animals have lost their mates. Help them pair up again.
The water started receding from the earth, and the ark came to rest upon the mountains of Ararat. Noah sent out a Joseph in Egypt. Jacob loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age. His brothers hated him, though, and could not speak to him in a friendly way. Eleven stars in the skies bow down to one, Joseph's. Joseph had the gift to interpret dreams, but his brothers hated him all the more for it. Would you indeed be king over us and rule over us, they asked. It came to pass that once, tending the flocks, they fell upon him, bound him, and sold him as a slave to the Ishmaelite merchants going to Egypt. They dipped Joseph's coat in the blood of a young goat and brought it to their father as proof that Joseph had been torn to pieces by a wild beast. In time, Pharaoh learned about a Hebrew slave who understood dreams and could tell their meaning, and he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh dreamed that he was standing by the river, and out of the river came seven cows, fat and fine and pleasant to the eye, and they grazed the creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Then God made the sky, and separated the waters which were below the sky from the waters which were above the sky. He called the dry land earth, and the gathering of the waters he called seas. The melody accompanying the story has been divided into several parts. Can you put the original melody together? Do you really want to leave the program? If yes, point at the first button. If you want to continue, point at the second button. <laughs>